these are our brand new chips, so it's a white corn, yellow corn mix. Um, they're a little thicker than most chips you find. Um, we fry them a little bit faster, a little bit hotter oil. So you get the little dark speckles in there. Very good. They are very good. They are very good. And they hold together really well. You won't find any crumbs in the bottom. Guaranteed. I think that they're just seasoned right. You got enough salt on them. Uh, a lot of chips that you buy, you leave them in a bag or you set them on a napkin and you go back to it. It's full oil. These things are fresh to the snap. Can't beat them. Great for dipping. You don't see no grease in the bottom here. No grease in the bottom. Yeah. You can see I'm a big man. The wife's trying to get me on the diet. And if this is on the diet, I'll lose white weight real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Zero trans fat. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Healthy and fresh. And you, yep. can, you can taste it in every bite. Yep. And all the flavors just jump out on you. So this isn't, you know, you bite in there and you're trying to figure out what's in there. But if you, if you stop and think about it, your taste buds is telling you, this pineapple in there, it's ginger in there. It's all fresh and you can taste it. Yep. There's no doubt about it. It's, it's a no great product. Frozen, no oils. Flavorings. That's a great idea. How long have you been making salsa? Uh, we've been at this for about six years. The last three or four we've been getting into a lot of stores. Sorry, I go to farmers markets and fairs and festivals. Are you, are you just with the state of Michigan so far? Uh, Michigan, a little bit of Ohio, a little bit of Indiana, Wisconsin, and Chicago. Oh, that's so fantastic. Great Lakes area, yeah. Wow. What do they think of this in Chicago? Um, they are excited. They love it. Um, you know, we've been winning awards down in New Mexico, down in Texas. So when a, a boy from Detroit goes down and beats, yeah. uh, beats out some New Mexican salsa, you know, we're on something. You know, Chicago people love it. Absolutely. And you, uh, you may get your own facility? Or? Yep. yep. We have our own uh, kitchen. We make it in. Kosher certified. <laughs> so, um, while well, I've got the, the big cheese here and some uh, experts, um, experts leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I, I'm trying to kick around some marketing ideas because we're kind of new to, to some other states. You know, here it's easy because it's our hometown, everybody knows us. Um, but I'm trying to find a way to get, get, get the word out in areas where we're not. You know, like Ohio, Wisconsin, um, Indiana. So I don't know if you guys got any ideas or... We always have ideas. Ideas go to We like easy, ideas. Okay. <laughs> what have you tried so far? Well. We're new to those markets, so really nothing. So, so here, what works for us is we do in-store demos. We go to the store that sells our product, we'll set up a table, we'll give out samples. Um, they try it, they buy it on the spot. But being 100 miles, 200 miles away from a new market, um, you know, that's not feasible for us at this time. Well, that is going to be the best way because, I mean, this stuff just tastes great. And, that, and when you have, when you can actually have somebody taste it, that's going to be the most effective. Yeah. He's right. It, it, I mean, if you could get somebody out there pushing this in, in the different areas where you're not at, where they can taste it, because the proof is in the pudding. But meanwhile, to get out there, I think that your social media, it would be a good jump. Advertise this stuff. Um, get it out there on social media until you get built up to go out there and have the time to do this. I know that you're probably... Um, working very hard at this and you don't have the time to do that but uh, once they taste it like he says we yeah. got them in the bag sold, sold. All, right. all right the Thank social you. media social media to death and uh, push it and let people know about you and once they hear it, it's got a great name and once they taste it they're hooked ain't no doubt about it yeah where it's located awesome where they can come to a store and buy it too Absolutely, yeah, yeah. and if they can do that, you know, that's but till then, mm -hmm. to reach out to the places he's not in social media. But this is excellent. This is where one in the hands worth two in the bush. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna fit here. 
I can't stay out of it. I <laughs> Here, here's my social social media expert right here. The consultant. Hi. Yeah. Hey. So we're on we're on Facebook and I'm on LinkedIn. But I don't know, we don't know a whole lot about the Instagram and the it's new to a lot yeah. of people. The younger generation is really hipping on it. Yeah. And uh, Instagram is great. I mean, you can't do as much as you can. Um, even Facebook is great. You know, you shoot yourself a little video and stuff and get it out there. This product needs to be out there. It's healthy. It's fresh. And if you can get to the spots where you're at, social media, Facebook, which you're already on probably, um, you're doing a good job. I see you on there once in a while. But Instagram and, and uh, there's a couple different places, Bonanza, you could probably, maybe, I don't know if Amazon sells a food product or not, but they're expanding with, with new rules. Uh, they started out January the first of the year. But great product, good things, you know, this stuff you're not even have on eBay. And let people, yeah. just to get out there and try it. What a, what a great taste. Um, I'm not going to buy any more stuff. This is it. If I go sell stuff, if I go Mexican night, uh, whatever you want to call it, this is where I'm going. This is my diet right now. And this is Big Cheese telling you, this is his diet right here. And hope you keep making different flavors. Yeah, yeah. So now, who do you recommend to do videos? Um, you know, I like G1 NBC. Uh, sometimes they get caught up, maybe they're a little bit busy, they got a lot going on. But there's some other people out there that shoot videos. You got Dell Tech Studio. Um, nowadays, hey, we all got this, and these got a magnificent camera. Uh, high definition, they're, they're right up there with the big boys now. Yeah. You, get, you got a good iPhone or, you know, Android, they do a great job. You can shoot your own, you know, get you a gimbal, shoot your own, and it's less expensive, and it gets it out there. Just boom, 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 two, two three minutes at the most, keep their attention. You've got so many different flavors. I think you could ace it. I really think you could ace it. Well, what do you think? I think so. I agree. And I am not. I think Facebook is actually uh, a really good resource. How often do you uh, update your page, your Facebook page? Quite often daily. Well, we used to do it daily. Um, we used to be more than once a day. Now we're down to once, about once a day. You know? Well, that's great. Yeah. That's great. And I, you know, <laughs> I only update my Facebook page about once a week, yeah. so I, I should do it daily. Yeah. Uh, but if you, if you can do that, the, the, the turnaround, the fresh, and putting uh, new videos on it, videos big, that, that uh, the search engines reach into uh, into Facebook and they love to find new stuff. Okay. Uh, so, and uh, customer. Um, Customer testimonials, if you get people to, uh, you know, to say they like it, uh, that's really, people pay a lot of attention to that these days. If they're looking at competing products and they find someone who's, you know, uh, well, 10 people have said that this is great, that makes a big difference. Right. That, that will swing their decision in your favor. Right. Yeah, reviews are great. He's right on that, get your reviews. Sometimes you got to give a little, get a lot. Yeah. And you know, and I'm sure that you've all experienced that yeah. for sure. Yeah. But keep it fresh on Facebook. Keep it going. And it gets, it's great. It's, it's advice is great. Um, not to pitch in our business. Check the cheese out. And we keep it fresh three or four times a day. So what do you do? What we do is uh, we do restoration. We're hooked up with the Barry Jackson Company that you see auto sales uh, and the memorabilia on TV, also with Mecham, RM, and Auctions America, all the main ones you see that are selling on TV. What we do is get the uh, memorabilia, which is uh, antique gas pump restoration. We do neon signs and then one of our clients. So we can't, we sure we'd like to take care of them all and give them all the you can, you know. Right. So we do about 65% of their memorabilia on all the auction companies. Um, and it's been a good run. Yeah. Very good. My oh. wife Dawn here, she has a double bachelor degree in art. And it fits right in with what we do on the restorations. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. Um, did you guys get enough, uh, enough to eat, enough chips? <laughs> well, I want to tell you, we talked a lot about the sauce, but these chips, 
I don't know how long you've had them on. Brand new. We talked a little about it. This is the first store to carry them here in Pacific. Well, this might be your start, but I can see these in a bunch of different stores. And like I said before, no grease. You got a napkin, you don't see no grease on them. Just the perfect amount of salt to open your taste buds in this and your sauce. It's a winning combination. Thank you. I, I do appreciate the, uh, you let me pick the brains. Yes. Uh, it meant a lot. We're going to jump on that social media and then uh, wish the best for your business. Thank you. Always great to see you. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Great seeing you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Him too. Both of you. Both of you. Both of you. <laughs> Three musketeers. <laughs>